Hello, my name is Christine, and today I'm actually going to be showing you a couple of things that I picked out at the outlets today. So if you do like this kind of video, please like my my videos and subscribe. So anyways, without further ado, let's get to the bags. Obviously, if you saw the thumbnail, it is a bag. So I picked up one bag from Michael Kors at the outlet. Um, backstory is that I've always wanted this bag for a very long time, but I just couldn't justify the price for it like I can't for a very long time I'm talking about since it came out you guys already know this design so yeah it's the brown one because it's so pretty for the fall very simple very simple um, I actually wanted this bag so bad but I couldn't get my hands on it when it was on sale Macy's or the actual Michael Kors boutique and they never had it at the outlets before and when they did have it, it wasn't exactly this kind. I mean, it had to be at least somewhat different. And so when I saw this today, I'm like, they finally have it at the outlet? Really? So I did realize though the difference between the, the boutique version of it to the outlet version. So the outlet version, the Michael Kors um, logo or hardware on the bag is actually like... What do you call it? They're connected. If you see what I mean, like the letters, you see those little things, like they're, they're actually connected. Like there, there's no gaps. How about that? Like, let's make my life easy. There are no gaps between the letters. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my other one that I got from Nordstrom. Oh, I'm so sorry, I got this one from TJ Maxx. Um, this one, you see how the letters have gaps in between them? They're not like li literally connected. So I wanted this kind of bag so bad that I couldn't get a hand, my hand on. My hand on for a very long time. I ended up getting this one from TJ Maxx years and years ago. I believe this is going to be about seven years old now. Um, yeah, seven years old because it was 2015 when I bought this one. So yeah, this is the bag that I really wanted. Basically the textured leather and yeah. So that's what I got from the outlets, of course. I'm just gonna show you guys the price tag. It says our price is $378. Y'all, it says $378. But at the outlet, it was only $78. So it's basically like $300 off, right? Yep, so $78 plus tax. And it has some stuffing. Although what we all know, what we all already know is that they don't come with dust bags. I really wish that they do come with dust bags. I don't understand why outlets don't come with dust bags. Like, why not? They're all bags. They all need to be taken care of. They all need to have a home or their own room. So they need a dust bag. So I don't care that they're outlet bags. I think they should have dust bags. And so it, what I love about this one is it's partial metal and mostly leather. So I love that about this bag. Yep, so that's what I got. All right, let's get to the next one. I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing because I'm so happy. I'm so happy about this bag. I really am. There's only like three pieces left too. Because the rest of the ones that I saw there was like the monogram. So two-toned and monogram. So but this is the color that I really wanted for a long time. Now with the next one I got from Kate Spade, I had so many like deciding factors of why I got this bag. But initially, I wanted to get a Natalie bag. <laughs> I actually walked in there asking about Naomi. I think I said Naomi or something, but it wasn't Natalie or, oh no, I think I said Natalie, but they're saying, oh, Natalia. Okay, either way. So I went in the store. I wanted to see the burgundy in person, but they didn't have it. So I still couldn't decide. So I went, I went and walked around like, four or five times, like I kid you not, I wasn't walking around trying to find something I'm actually gonna like because I was in line outside Kate Spade. Like every outlet that I know that has Kate Spade, there's always a line. Anyways, um, even before COVID, like they always had a line outside the store. Um, so I'm like, I'm not gonna waste my time waiting outside in the line and not picking up anything, but then I don't wanna just pick out anything. So I wanted to pick out something that I don't have yet something I can use, some color that I don't have. And then 
something that has a detachable strap that will match my broken bag. So it's not technically broken. I actually cut off the strap on this one. So it used, it's a crossbody bag that I got from Kate Spade back in 2016. This was a gift from my husband when, sorry, excuse my nails. So basically that, the strap kind of got ripped. It had like the wear and tear and I'm like, it's ugly. So I decided to just cut it off and be like using this as a makeup bag, but I still like it as a bag. So anyway, I went to go look for a bag that will have something that I can attach the strap with this one so it will match or whatnot. I don't know if that made sense, but I was looking for a bag that has a strap that can match this one as well. Wow, all that. Backstory, back to the bag. Okay, so sorry I'm like looking this way because I'm looking at my camera instead of the camera. So this is the bag. This is fresh from the bag. So I'm actually technically unwrapping a bag. Although I do know what it looks like because I asked for this one. But they didn't give me the one I specifically picked out. Because they're like, oh, let me get you the sales lady. I was like, let me get you a brand new one from the back. So here it is me literally unbagging for the first time the bag that I picked out. Please be the green one because if this is the black one. Oh yeah, it's the green one. So I think it's green. It's um the camera the lighting is not really picking it out as green yeah so this is like dark green let me get these out wow it's i i don't even want to remove this thing okay hold on let me get the name of this bag this is the medium satchel color block peacock 300 I think the name is Stacy. I don't know. I don't know. There's no name. There's no name. I have to look it up. I have to look it up online and probably just like insert the name on there somewhere. But yeah, this is a really pretty bag. It's the medium satchel. By the way, I am five foot short and I weigh about 110 or less. Um, so this is like perfect size for me like it doesn't make me look any shorter than I already am so I should just go ahead and remove this thing huh yep satisfaction oh that sounds so good all right like everything is all wrapped up like I'm hoping in my heart like there's a dust bag sitting inside this bag just because it's a brand new bag but I doubt it though, because no outlet bags have dust bags. But I'm still hoping, but again, no. There isn't any. I even asked the, the cashier, like, are you sure there's nothing in the back in there somewhere? And she was like, no, I'm sorry. We only have dust bags for accessories. Okay. So before I like go and open everything, I'm gonna make sure that this strap actually matches my beloved bag. So, you know, it doesn't beat the purpose. Ooh. And it's the perfect thickness too. Like it's not too thick. Oh yeah. Oh yes, guys. It matched, guys. Oh my goodness. Yes. I can use this bag as a crossbody bag again. And yay, this strap has that little walker. I call them walker because they literally slide back and forth. So they walk around the strap, but they keep heavy and they support the strap so they're not going all over the place. Every crossbody strap should have this. Like, I don't understand why. Like, would you sell a belt without the walker? Exactly. So if you're going to make a bag, you better make sure that they have walkers. If not, put them on clearance and make a new one. I think that's what um, other designers should be doing. But anyways, that looks so ni nice. I wish I could show you guys how this bag looked before. Yeah. 
I don't even think it was adjustable strap. Yeah, it wasn't even an adjustable strap before. But yes, that worked out because satchel bags like these, I prefer to wear them as top handle instead of a crossbody. But it's also good to have this one on hand when I use them around so that if I feel like I need to put them over my shoulder, then I have that option. So there's a feature in this bag that I don't understand what the feature really is about. Like this snap on, on the back of it, right there. Like, what does it do? Because you can try to pull that all the way and it doesn't even go through that little, um, little metal hardware there. It just, it stays like that. And I don't know what it's for. Like, what does it do? Like, what's the function of that? But at the same time, I know it's just giving me the, um, the Hermes kind of vibe for having that kind of design. Hermes or Ted, Teddy Blake. But again, Teddy Blake is also imitating Hermes. So anyways, and then the back pocket, you think, you think the, the, the pocket in the back is going to be big, but it's not. It's just that one area right here. It's just small because it stops right here. Right here, it stops right there. You can only really get to a certain part. So I'm probably not gonna use this as much. I always use the back pockets for receipts, like stuff them in there immediately. That's it. Um, but yeah, so far, I am liking this bag. I'm trying to be gentle, honestly. I'm trying to be gentle because I don't wanna like ruin my bag. Um, I'm looking at the stitching. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, the bag looks good. The bag looks good. Um, okay, I know I'm doing this haul and I'm doing it un without without justice on the bag. So again, this is the bag. I'm going to give you the 360. So it's giving you the Hermes vibe. Um, it's pretty much your general or typical kind of um, satchels and then the top part of the satchel is actually a zipper and it's not just like an open satchel so you do have to work your way in there um, some people might find it annoying that you have to go in there and kind of dig and then the zipper kind of just like um, scratches your hand all right so yeah so here's the back pocket um, can't really open that much um, right there it's very spacious i would say um it, this is again the medium satchel so you get to put a lot of stuff in there you might want to use a bag organizer i think everybody should be using a bag organizer it just makes your life so much easier so that when you're doing like bag I mean, when you're transferring your stuff from one bag to the other, you're not forgetting um, your important pieces. So, yep. Yeah. And then there's that little flap right here. Let me remove that. And then the hardware has case bag. So again, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to find out what this bag is called because I don't know the name of this bag. Just type that in there. I don't get that though. Why do they make these kind of designs? Like, what's this? Because even Fendi has that too. Like that little extra tail of zipper. Anyway, so that's really cute. I have a lot of, I don't want to say a lot, but I do have quite a few satchel bags. Because I think it makes you really look like a woman in power. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so... Um, just those two things that I got, it's just this top handle by Kate Spade and the Michael Kors crossbody, which kind of gives me the fall, um, vibe. And then this one's just going to go with the holidays, you know, Christmas, probably bring me into, um, the new year because the color is really pretty. Yeah. I wish my camera was picking it up nicely, but... 
It's not. I'm so sorry. It looks more jade. Like dark green. But yeah. That's about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully you guys like watching hauls. Because I like watching hauls. And I want to start doing hauls and reviews. So I know this video is just really casual. And not really giving you all the details and stuff. But Maybe I'll do a much more in-depth review for each item. So if you do like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a much more um, in-depth review of this one and what fits, of um, the weight, the size, yada yada. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great night, great day, whenever you're watching it. So yeah, bye!